Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay that is another question Okay uniform inflow helps <laughs> If you go here if i substitute for that particular expression okay let us uh, oh, i forget that thing i just want to relate because there are very interesting ideas in this okay this is a non dimensional lift if i write it non dimensional lift i may r you can put it dct also it's okay i think dct becomes okay because this is not a non dimensional this is now dct is this if i substitute theta as theta tip over r bar then what will this become this will become theta tip r bar one of the r bar will cancel out right and here lambda r bar so i will have lambda r bar okay now what is the area of the annular disk annular area is 2 pi r bar d r bar that means i am saying lift per unit area okay r thrust per unit area okay you can call it thrust per unit area area is a non dimensional please note i am using non dim okay non dimensional thrust this is the thrust if i divide by 2 pi r bar dr bar that means what r bar dr bar will go off and this is a theta tip and my lambda is uniform inflow right that means i get this for uniform inflow non dimensional thrust per unit area or in other words this is a which means my loading i distribute the load uniformly please understand because it is not that some area i load more and some other area i load less it is like my entire weight of the helicopter is uniformly distributed over the rotor disc in other words equal area support equal weight okay which is a good design because you don't want to put some heavy load in one place and very lightly loaded in some other region so you see the uniform inflow has lot of implication that is why you have to try to achieve that uniform inflow in the earlier days people were not making a twisted blade okay but nowadays all the blades are twisted twisted blade but of course they are all uniform cross section because from manufacturing considerations most of the blades are made uniform cross section okay now you see this is the ideal twist but manufacturing ideal twist is a bit difficult okay so you now know hey i am not going to take the twist till r equal to 0 so i stop at maybe 20% of the blade span i stop because my aerodynamic section usually starts around 0.25 okay 0.25 of the radius so i can twist only up to that point okay now that is why you now know why that non uniform inflow calculations are done and from there only you can show this okay uniform why what type of twist ideal twist otherwise this is the this is the proof 
but then for this proof you need blade element theory you need momentum theory that is differential momentum theory these two thrust you equate and then get the inflow put it there you see okay if i want uniform inflow my blade must be twisted okay this is all for hover please understand this is all for hover okay there are certain other uh, important uh, points i'll just briefly mention two of them now before i leave you i mentioned that the tip region the lift as what we saw it goes like a parabola to the tip r r square but then near the tip region the lift is actually zero it is not a high value so there is a drop now there is a correction you have to give this is called the tip losses tip loss because the flow is going to be three dimensional flow there because even if you take a vortex then it will go up but if you really want to precise calculation you have to use a vortex theory okay but earlier prandtl formulated uh, used a two dimensional vortex wake because number of blades become important because the tip how the wake will go how many blades are there okay everything is important so he made a theoretical calculation and then he came up there are several people used different derivations i will not go into the details what this final conclusion of that is instead of integrating that lift dr from 0 to 1 don't go to 1 you go to one is actually non dimensional b b is a tip loss factor okay because somebody i have given this this we has to b is tip loss factor and it is less than 1 which is what is the value is they found that if you use a factor b equals 0.97 okay for the lift part drag part you take it till the end but you integrate your lift only up to 0.97 of the radius don't integrate till the end they find that this expression is good because that lift whatever you theoretically predict is very good and now industry uses most of our calculation also we use tip loss factor but if you really want to do a very detailed tip because for those who are interested in aerodynamics you can take the real tip and you have you can do a line vortex or a sheet vortex okay and then really calculate that quantity because the flow near the tip is very complicated because it gives to noise it gives to drag there are so many other factors but now industry uses a different aerofoils because near the tip they don't use the same aerofoil they try to use a thinner aerofoil because the drag will be higher so to reduce the drag they make a thinner aerofoil near the tip but that tip section if you really see 0.95 to 1 only in that zone they will change it rest of the section it will be same okay now the research part of it is essentially refining further and further your analysis capability and improving the performance of the rotor and there is one which is the best tip there is no answer today because i i can quote from one of the person from industry he said that there is no optimum tip till now nobody knows every industry uses its own tip because they will not give any details out and there is one which is called uh, the i think westland they put a burp some british experimental rotor program that is called a burp b e r p okay 
that tip if you see the blade it will be like this the tip will be like a paddle something like that in a very funny form some people may use like this some people may use like this there are million types of tips but now if you want to really do for every tip experiment okay you know it's go actually i thought that we have a test rig we should be able to manufacture different different tips shapes just make an attachment and do it this is like a future research because then you will have your own wealth of data to say what tip is good but then predicting that with your analysis that is still the gap is quite a bit okay if you want to really go to fine values otherwise gross values i am telling you otherwise you can you will not be able to fly the helicopter we make a lot of assumptions but still the mean values okay what is the thrust what is the pitch angle that's all whatever this simple theory is good enough for you to give all those things that's why helicopter flies okay but if you go to more complicated things i want to improve then more detailed study is required that's why tip plus is one another one is root cut out okay i have put only here i did not put the blade airfoil does not start from zero because you have a hub and your blade root section will be something like this okay because you have to take it put a bolt attach etc and the hub will come and the aerodynamic section will start only after some distance that means all this portion there is no lift you will get only drag okay now you have to take that also in your calculation but in all our calculation because it is easy you integrate from 0 to 1 0 to 1 it's easy you write an expression and everything is compact which is good but for a little better calculation more realistic calculation i would say you take a root cut out and the root cut out you call it as some e offset you can call it root offset okay so this is the root cut out this is the tip loss factor okay in calculating for thrust drag you take the everything okay is it clear now i think i will send you one uh, assignment because i am preparing it i will send by email you make calculation i want you to generate i'll give the data only these equations there is nothing more but for a rotor okay then you plot the graph how they vary with the various twist expressions but you have to trim the helicopter trim means ct must be balanced so it, you have to do some iterative calculation you have to write code but don't copy one fellow writes everybody prints but i want finally the figure okay now since you asked i'll show you one diagram this is the curve cq cq is cp okay torque coefficient cq over sigma this is ct over sigma power 3 by 2 because that a expression what was that we had see you had cp is cq which was ct power 3 by 2 root 2 plus sigma right so you divide by sigma if you divide by sigma this will be and cd not over 8 if i plot cq by sigma and this by sigma this is a straight line ct power 3 by 2 and this line is this line c 
cd by sigma power 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 no no this is an error that is all it should be ok usually you see t you you compare rotors of similar class rotor means similar weight class do not write above fully from but even then we compare two helicopters with a different weight class figure of merit is not treated very seriously in actual design of course if it is below 5 or 0.5 or another thing it is a bad rotor solidity is very important because solidity gives you I told you C T by sigma, C T by sigma is blade loading which is also blade pitch angle ok. That is why simply saying sigma does not make much, but saying C T is ok because thrust coefficient that means am I in the helicopter class because it is usually in the range of 0 0.005, but C T by sigma sigma by itself if I give you you can take a propeller blade and give a sigma value ok. It does not specify whether it corresponds to a helicopter or a propeller or something like that ok. But C T by sigma that is why C T by sigma last class also that is the you know, it has so many meaning in the hover case you know that it is approximately the pitch angle ok. Now, if C T by sigma keeps on increasing that means what the mean pitch angle you are increasing mean pitch angle increase means you can increase up to some point after that blade is going to stall ok. That means you can go up to that C T suppose you design a helicopter how much because you do not design only for that particular weight even though you design for 4000 kg you know sometimes you may have to carry a little you know it, the capability, but this factor in hover is yes you are related to stall same thing can happen to forward flight also. But if I simply represent C T by sigma for a helicopter C T is fixed because the weight is known rho pi r square omega rho is known sigma is known that means C T by sigma cannot vary for a helicopter please understand, but C T by sigma as a parameter if you say non-dimensional that is the blade loading or indirectly pitch angle hey, what is the capability of the rotor how much C T I can really take it before the rotor becomes one way is tall another way it is vibrating there are several factors another one is a hub load increases. So, you can set various criteria and you take the rotor and then you say I am taking it to the extreme of the rotor because in internal you can do keep taking to the extreme and you say ah beyond that my pitch link load because this is how it was defined they get the pitch link load because the pitch angle is moving and the pitch link load is directly dependent on torsional moment because when the blade stalls torsion moment comes this is a dynamic load please understand dynamic stall means it is oscillating your oscillatory load will increase which is related to fatigue life. So, they say hey where will I start having large oscillatory load now large means what large now you have to define some number ok I have my limit of uh, infinite life in metals and then I will say 3 times the oscillatory load if I get at some situation that means I have reached my limit I cannot go beyond that. So, this is how they try to come up with some kind of a limit of the rotor because in certain operations C T by sigma everything, but the pitch link load will go up to such an extent then pilot will not be and sometimes the vibration will go to high value he will not be able to operate the vehicle that is why it is very interesting to see you know because this is based on my discussion with the industry people what is the best helicopter ok. How do you say a helicopter is best or rotor system 
he said that if my operation is limited by power then it is the best helicopter in the sense hey, i don't have engine power that's why i am not able to fly more otherwise everything is wonderful but invariably please understand most of the helicopters it is not restricted by power <laughs> it is actually restricted by suddenly vibration will increase at some speed beyond that you have to sit in a helicopter to see the vibration okay i am telling you the noise will go up pitching load will go up pilot will find it uh, difficult to control even though i have power in my engine please understand i cannot take the vehicle beyond because i can't control the vehicle vibration is very heavy then you say hey you know, that is so what sets the limit is not the engine power it is other characteristics really is setting the limit of your helicopter you follow and this is where still problems are there it's a very challenging problem you will see but you know it's really beautiful so many factors you have to consider you say hey i am everything i can satisfy so i can fly if you give me more power i can take it so power restricted helicopter is the best helicopter but invariably it is the other restrictions which will set you can't go beyond this speed because beyond that speed if you go the whole thing will shake like hell because you have to sit there because i once went i sat in a production your window pan and everything you know you can't hear anybody inside because pilots talk to them only through wireless even though they will be sitting by the side okay noise is terrible that noise you have to open and then hear it because i couldn't but i came out for about i would say 2 to 3 hours i did not hear anything absolutely nothing was it's it's a nothing you don't hear and then the vibration if you see the whole side fuselage uh, bends they were vibrating of this much amplitude this much that means if it is here it goes this this you think that because if you were you know, because you were an academician the whole thing is going to blow up you know it will take off that is the level of vibration now imagine it is not the power power is there if you want to fly you but if you fly you will blow the vehicle so these are restrictions which will come up so you have to make sure i reduce these things okay i think with this we'll close today